Hi, Star Season family. How are you all doing? I am doing well. I hope you all are doing great. I have another message from God for us today. And um, so I want to go ahead and share that with you all. Let me go ahead and pray and we will get right into the message. Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord, we come humbly before your throne. We thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love and kindness that is made new to us every morning. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your unconditional love towards us. We thank you for giving us peace, joy, happiness. We thank you for providing for us, for blessing us. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you that we are covered in your blood. You said that where you see the blood, you will pass over. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done for us up until this point. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for leading and guiding and directing our path. We thank you, Lord, for showing us what we need to see, telling us what we need to hear and know and also be aware of. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this message right now. I ask that you speak through me to give this word to your people that you have given to me on this day. I thank you, Lord God, for letting them understand it in the same sense and feeling and manner that you gave the message to me. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We love you communing with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Star Seeds. Um, hope you all are doing great. I apologize in advance for any outside noise that you might hear. And um, I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Hope you all enjoy your day and enjoy your children. And we thank God for you all. You are our kings. And we love you and God loves you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on raising these children to be great men and women of God. We appreciate you. All right, so like share and subscribe let us get the word out um, to people that may be um, going through these situations and need to hear this word need to hear this confirmation need to um, you know build their confidence and to know that God got them he loves them and God sees everything that is going on and he's giving us a word to let us know that he's always watching he never slumbers nor sleeps he's always watching over his children so share the message with them all right so earlier um in the night i was just chilling and i have a like two alarms set on my phone um, for a specific reason and the alarms are, the alarm times are 9.45 p.m. and 10 o'clock p.m. So, tonight, this has never happened before, um, my 9.45 alarm went off at 9.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and, um, I was like, hmm, that's strange. But, you know, I was just kind of like looking on my phone and I seen that it came up. And I looked at the time on the clock and it said it was 9.44 p.m. And so I was just kind of like scrolling on my phone or whatever. But I was like thinking thinking to myself, like, that was strange. Like, I wonder why it went off at 9.44. And I was like, well, maybe I had one set for 9.44. I don't know. So I continued to do what I was doing then when the 10 o'clock um, alarm you know it was supposed to go off 
it went off at 9.59 p.m. instead of 10 o'clock. And so I was like, hmm, so that really got my attention. So I um, clicked off of what I was doing and went and looked at my alarms that I have set. And they were, they're set at 9.45 p.m. and 10 o'clock p.m. So, and there's no 9.44 uh, p.m. alarm set or a 9.59. So, I was like, hmm. And so, I was like, let me go ahead and, um, you know, meditate and see what that's about. Because I kind of figured that that's God wanting to let us know something that's going to happen before it happens. And so... I went in meditation to, um, you know, see what that meant, because that's never happened before in my life. I've never seen that. And um, so so God is saying, yes, um, something is about to happen. So he wants us to be aware of it before it happens. So God is talking to us about um, these twin flames are twin fame connections so this is this message is specifically for those of you all who know that you have a twin flame and know who your twin flame is and this could be somebody that you're separated from or some your twin flame that you are separated from and there's no communication or no contact this message is for you all all right so God wants you all to know that you have a very important decision to make because your twin flames are coming back to you and he's letting you know this ahead of time so that you can go ahead and prepare and to pray, to meditate, and to make sure your chakras are in alignment, that you are aligned, you are, your chakras are balanced within you so you can make the correct decision for yourself and for your divine mission that he has you on. So I'm just going to give a little um, glimpse of what God showed me about these twin flames. And those of you who are new to this twin flame journey, then um, you can go back and look at all the previous videos to catch yourself up to speed with what's been going on and what's you know happening now in this um in this previous moment and so I just heard um so today is the 17th of June I'm sorry no it's the 18th of June now because it's after 12 and we're still in the spring so the next season is the summer and so God is wanting us to let that um me seeing the 944 my alarm clock going off at 944 and and at 959 is letting us know that this is getting ready to happen he's letting us know in spring and this is going to happen in the summertime so the first day of summer is on June 21st I'm not sure what day of the week that is right off the right off hand but um so this twin flame journey has been a trip. <laughs> it has been a lot. It's been a lot of um, a lot of awakenings and ascensions happening. Um, it has been a lot. Of, it has been painful, and it has been our greatest growth. These, this twin flame, God is saying, this twin flame person that you are connected to, you and this person share a soul. 
so and this person has been with you in every lifetime so all of your past lifetimes you have been with this person because you all share a soul in two separate bodies, temples, vessels. So, so God is reiterating that you all have a decision to make uh, because I'm not sure if you know uh, what happened between you all in a past lifetime, um, but that's something that you... Um, may want to seek God about to find out so that you will know the importance and the depth and the intensity magnitude of you connecting with this person again in this lifetime and you all may want to go to some spiritual uh readers or you know advisors to help you all figure out to tap in to that to see what happened between you and this person this twin flame in a previous in your previous life so God is saying that You all are have been awakened before your twin flame was in this lifetime and um, you met this person and when you first met him you didn't really know you know um, you know that you were a twin flame like you didn't know anything about that twin flames or soulmate connections or being, you know, awakened spiritually or none of that. So when you met them, you just knew that it was like a a chemistry between you and them that you had never felt before with, with anybody that you've been in a, in a relationship with. And, but it was the, it was like a, kind of like a, a push pull type of relationship and like a cat mouse type of relationship like a chaser and a runner and you know push back then you come together then you then you're separated you come together then you're separated there's a lot of you know turmoil going on in the connection and so this last time when you all were separated you all became spiritually awakened to what was going on and awakened that this person is your twin flame the person that you share a soul with and so you you became awakened to the the spiritually awakened journey and the this twin flame journey but your twin flame partner was still asleep to what was really going on and you two you grew up in two different like family lifestyles So y'all are kind of like opposites, you know, in pertaining to how you grew up, how you was raised, but you still share a soul with this person. So um, your twin flame, they went through a lot of childhood um, trauma and, you know, situations but you grew up in a, a different um, home life and was raised differently and you hadn't experienced those things that they experienced. So it's like when you all met each other, you were, you know, like 
when you looked into each other's eyes, you knew something was there. You saw the flame in each other. But but when you snap out of it and, you know, look at the physical world around us, it's like, how could I be with this person? Like, we don't have nothing, you know, we don't, you don't think that you have anything in common or you probably can't be together, you know what I'm saying, based on how you was raised and how you were brought up. And then a lot of people have a lot of family traditions. And so, you know, all of that stuff is passed down from generation to generation. But people don't understand that God doesn't care anything about that. He don't care nothing about these family traditions that people done made up and um, these, you know, religion and religious beliefs that people done made up and passed down from generation to generation. He doesn't care anything about that when he has called two people to be together and to complete a divine mission. So God is saying that, um, so your, your twin flame partners, they pretty much ran from the connection um, because they were unhealed within themselves. They have a lot of um, childhood trauma that needs needs to be healed and they also um, had been hurt in past relationships and and a lot of them just went from relationship to relationship without healing so they had a lot of um, toxic ways and patterns about themselves and they and that caused them to feel like that they were not good enough for you all so they ran from the connection and ran towards um, people who they thought that they could relate to, who they could resonate with because they felt like they didn't deserve you because they weren't healed from all of their past relationships and their childhood trauma and didn't know their worth. And so this last time they had decided to get be in a relationship with you, to put all of that to, aside, to try to, to make it work. Um, but their karmic partner and their families wanted them to stay in that toxic pattern and lifestyle, 3D lifestyle. They didn't want them to ascend into higher consciousness and to grow and to be better and to be more because these karmic lovers and family members were um, getting readings done on you all and so they knew that you all were a twin flame connection and that you all were going to be you know have an empire together um, that you all were going to break generational curses and that you all were going to be a power couple and God was going to use you all to break this cycle of you know generational curses and all of this trauma being passed down instead of true love real love and healing and also wealth being passed down to the generations that are coming after us. So they were jealous of you, you all, and also your twin flame partners. They didn't want them to be greater than them, greater than them. They didn't want them to be powerful or to do anything epic in the in their life in their lifetime and in their generation. So they did a lot of spell work and black magic to keep you all apart. And um, so the, the karmic partner that they went towards, this person has deeper uh, 
childhood trauma and wounds than your twin flame. They were very, very toxic and unhealed in their actions. They're just very just angry at the world, angry at their parents, just angry at everybody. And they need to to heal. And so they this person has been running away from their healing and they're just pretty much cold and heartless. They pretty much just have given them their souls over to the devil pretty much to use them. And they're, uh, a lot of them are very mentally ill and so they didn't this this karmic partner didn't really want your twin flame um, because they knew and even while they've been separated from you all and been with these karmics this karmic could tell that your twin flame is still in love with you um still been thinking about you they can see them thinking about you you know they can see them in deep thought and just spaced out and not paying attention to them and knowing that they were still in love with you and wanted to be with you and thinking about you all the time and this caused them to be furious so they was you know continuing to do heavy spell work and black magic on them to keep them away from you all um, to keep them in separation with from you to keep them from communicating with you but knowing that this person didn't love them that they were in love with you they were just mean and hateful and didn't want to they just don't want them to be with you and so and they had their karmic family members helping them as well a karmic mother is involved that is part of a coven with this karmic lover and a few of their other family members, maybe a sister or an auntie. Um, they're all involved in this situation. And so God had to um, send one of his angels, well, two of them, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron, to um, intervene in this situation due to God's divine timing and so your divine partners have been awakened and has found out that this karmic lover that they have been living with and taking care of and paying their bills and just doing everything that they want them to do um, pretty much just being their bitch they have found out that this karmic lover has them in a third party excuse me has had them in a third party um, some of them found some messages um, either text messages or messages on Facebook in somebody's um, DM and ha has found out that the third party karmic has them in a third party and a lot of them have found out that the third party um, is a same sex lover and um so they're realizing that this karmic that they chose over you due to, you know, their unhealed wounds and not feeling like they deserve better, um, you know, operating in toxic patterns and bad habits and addictions. Um, has them in a third party with a same-sex lover as the divine, I'm sorry, as the the karmic lover. And that this karmic lover prefers the same-sex lovers over 
the opposite sex and your divine masculine or your divine feminine your twin flame partner is heartbroken over this and devastated because they walked away from you which is their twin flame a divine feminine a divine masculine an empress or an emperor for this karmic lover and they have found out about all the spell work and black magic that the karmic lover and their families their families and friends have been doing on them so your divine partners your twin flame partners are deeply heartbroken over this they are ashamed and um, in deep regret deep some deep deep regret Because they found out that, you know, all the spell work that has been done and that this karmic lover didn't really want them. They just wanted to keep you all apart and to use them to pay their bills and take care of them. So they drove a wedge in between you all's connection to keep you all apart. And they tried to stop God's will for you all's life and to stop, to redirect God's divine timing, which is a huge no-no. So everyone involved in this situation, in this this karmic lover, this, um, their, this karmic mother, karmic sister, karmic auntie or friend, whoever was a part of this coven of witches, are all under judgment right now and everything is falling apart in their lives and they're losing everything. And so your twin flame partners have walked away from the situation. They are, have been awakened and now they know who you are. They know that you are their twin flame partner and they are devastated and heartbroken and ashamed of how they handled things with you all, how they handled this whole situation. They were um, two-faced manipulators towards you, and that's what the karmic lover was towards them. So everything that you felt when this separation was called called between you two is everything that your your twin flame partner is feeling right now and going through and it's a little worse for them because they were being warned by angels by god but they were ignoring their intuition and they still moved forward and did this anyway they, they're realizing that they made some very, very bad decisions. Um, that they were two-faced towards you. They was flighty, very impulsive. Um, they were sar- sarcastic towards you all. Um, just, you know, talking a lot of shit to you. Um, they sided with the karmics and their karmic family members against you. And a lot of them um, told lies on you. Um, told the karmic and the and their family that you were um, cheating on them and dealing with somebody else behind the scenes so that kind of like gave them a just to give themselves a pass to to go ahead and choose this karmic lover over you which was all lies and this is not this is for some of you all your twin flame partner told these lies on you that you were um, sleeping with somebody else and dealing with somebody else. And that's what broke you all up. But that was a lie. And they were the ones that were sneaking and creeping with these karmic lovers while you all were still in relationship. And the karmic lover had gave, had gave them an ultimatum and stated that they were not going to be with them if they had to hide their 
what they was doing with them behind the scenes. Excuse me, let me get a drink of water. So your your twin flame partners <clears throat> were very impulsive and very childish. And they made these um, decisions without seeking God first. They were trying to be people pleasers to this karmic lover and also the karmic family members. And um, they're very discontent in their life right now because, and they're watching you all heavily. You're the your twin flames partners. They're watching you all heavily. <clears throat> trying to see if they still have a chance with you all or if you all are <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> this only happens when they don't want me to get the message out <clears throat> They're watching you all because they know who you are now and they know that you all are very intuitive that you all were a sweetheart that gave them nothing but unconditional love and affection and was faithful to them and treated them with the utmost respect so they're watching you all to see to see they're watching you all on your social media platforms, um, online, driving by your house. They're obsessing over you, trying to see what they can find online to give them any kind of type of clues to, to know what you're doing now. Um, because they've walked away from this karmic lover and this group of Coven, family members and friends and this karmic is deeply heartbroken because <clears throat> they know that this person is not their your twin flame is not their twin flame and that you are and they're going back coming back towards you to have this twin flame reunion, this um, this milestone, this happy family, everything and all the blessings that comes with you all being together. So, <clears throat> with that being said, so they realize that that these karmic energies these past life enemies that they dealt with in a past lifetime that they're dealing with in this lifetime um, purposely tried to keep them stuck <clears throat> to keep you all apart to keep them away from the blessing and they are awakened and also ashamed <clears throat> And in deep regret at the same time because they impulsively made this decision to go back to this karmic lover and they didn't look before they leaped they did something very impulsively too quick and got themselves attached with the real demon has caused nothing but blockages, delays, lack of growth, scarcity, caused them to be broke and lack opportunities and they're struggling right now. <clears throat> but you were the blessing that was supposed to bring balance into their lives so that they can have a safe space. <clears throat> 
blesses me. So it can have a safe space to manifest in and also to heal in. But they were hiding their emotions for you. They were repressing their feelings and their emotions for you. They were in love with you all this whole time. But they were afraid to love and to be loved because of their past trauma, their past um, childhood trauma, and not healing when they end relationships with people. They were going from a relationship to relationship without healing. And this karmic and everybody who was involved in trying to keep you all apart and to um, destroy your union is under heavy judgment and karma and losing everything because God's favor is on your life your divine masculine is awakened to what has been going on behind the scenes they are receiving spiritual messages from God concerning you and they know now that this karmic and the karmic family members were very jealous of you and envious of you and your life path and also their life path with you and so now your divine masculine is willing to sacrifice and compromise or your your um, twin flame partner is willing to sacrifice and compromise for you so God is saying to you all that these um, he's letting you know this ahead of time so you all have a very important decision to make um, these your divine your twin flame partners are coming to talk to you. Um, a lot of you are going to receive an unexpected text message, phone call, or pop-up. And they're ready to um, tell you the truth about everything. And a lot of them want you all back. And God is telling you to... Um, Tell them exactly what you need. If you're thinking about taking them back. <clears throat> and God wants you all to um, take this very seriously because it is a, ten, a twin flame connection. Someone who shares a soul with you. And a lot of you may still be pissed off or mad. <clears throat> and hurt and if you are pissed off and mad and hurt still you still need you need you still need time to heal but those of you who are healed he wants you to take everything in consideration because this is kind of like a double-edged sword this situation hurt you it broke you down broke your heart um just you know had you in a a funk, uh, you know, a mental fog, um, you know, it was a lot going on, you know, people sending, um, witchcraft towards you, spell, we're doing spell work on you just to keep you away from this person, trying to affect your money, and a lot of them, they were spending, sending death spells, trying to take you out, you know, which is a lot to, um, have to deal with, especially from, somebody that you love and trusted and they um you know ran off on you and chose a karmic energy over you that was doing all of this hate <clears throat> chose a karmic energy over you that were doing all these hateful and mean things towards you and you had done nothing to your twin flame or these karmic lovers or their family members and they did all these manner of, manners of evil towards you. And um, 
but God used this situation to wake you all up to who you really are, to understand who you are, your your value, your worth, and your mission, your divine mission. This whole situation woke you up to who you really are and to your divine mission. And without this situation, you would not be awakened right now. So you went through a lot of heartache and pain and hurt and, you know, different stuff from this, the spell work that they were sending towards you. But God shielded it and protected you. And he didn't let no harm come near you, nor your dwelling. He didn't let them... um, kill you, take you out, he didn't let them, none of the stuff that they were sending, he didn't let it, you know, affect you into a way that would have you down and out, broke, busted, and disgusted. They couldn't affect your money, they couldn't affect your health, they couldn't affect your life. He shielded and protected you. You have been heavily divine, divinely guided and protected by archangels, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, your spirit guides, your angel guides, and also your ancestors. They have heavily protected you in this situation. So, God is um, wanting you to take a lot into consideration and he took your divine partners your twin flame partners through this situation in order to teach them a valuable spiritual lesson um and in this situation woke them up as well and they're awake now and they're coming they they know who you are they realize who you are and what you mean to them and what you meant to them and they're coming back towards you to make it, to try to make things right. And, you know, to be back into union with you all. So God is saying the choice is, you, is yours. But he wants you to think very carefully about your choice. Because this is the person that he, that you're meant to be with, you're destined to be with in this lifetime. Um, whatever they did to you in a past lifetime and also in this lifetime they have to make it up to you so this is somebody that you're destined to be with to grow with to love with to change the course of the coming generations to pass down true love healing joy happiness so to make your choices wisely Whatever choice is going to lead you towards happiness and joy. <clears throat> and he's saying that you have a lot of options. Um, God is bringing a lot of options to you. You have a lot of um, <clears throat> soulmate options that, you know, will treat you good and, you know, be there for you and take care of you and treat you how you're supposed to be treated. But the twin flame connection is the person who shares a soul with you. And that passion is like no other. Um, And he gave me the movie. um, You remember the, the Twilight movie? When Bella and the vampire had fell in love with each other. But he was, you know, too powerful for her because... He was a vampire, but he had to be very gentle, you know what I'm saying, with her. And But their passion towards each other, even though they didn't, they came from two different backgrounds, two different upbringings. They weren't even, you know, he was a vampire, she was human. And, but there was something there that was, that flame was there they was passionately in love with each other and how people you know didn't think they should be together or whatever they found a way to be together and i feel god's presence very very strong right now um 
so maybe you all can go back and look at that movie just to, you know, get an idea, or if you remember it, then you know what I mean, you know, where God is trying to come from, and he knows that there's a lot of family traditions, and, you know, of, you know, arranged marriages of people in your family, they got something to say about who you, who you're going to be with, and who you're trying to choose, so you have all this added stress of you loving this person, but you trying to, and being in love with a person, but you trying to please your family at the same time, or your or your friends, or whoever, and a lot of people end up letting their true love go, and being miserable for the rest of their lives, because they were trying to please, people please everybody, except pleasing themselves and being happy, because their family members and their friends, they choose whoever they want to choose. But if they can dictate dictate and control your life, they will. So God is um, asking you all to be mindful of everything, to take everything, you know what I'm saying, count up the cost, everything, weigh, it, weigh out everything that has happened up until this point. And make the choice that's going to bring you happiness and joy for your life and for you to be able to complete your divine mission and break these generation generational curses and that is totally up to you all because God has given us all free will to choose whatever we want to choose but our choices and decisions determines our happiness, our joy, and how our life goes moving forward. So, um, with that being said, um, God just wanted to let you all know this ahead of time that these twin flame partners, they're coming back and a lot's going to be going on in the summer season. So be prepared, get your hearts and your minds ready, pray and seek God, seek God, excuse me, seek God first before you deal with people, places, and things. Let God lead and direct your path if you want your your life and your path to be good, happy, and full of joy, peace, unconditional love, true love, and blessings. That's all God has for us today. He's saying that you all have a decision, a very, very important decision to make because your twin flames are on their way back. So that's all I have for you all tonight, today. Um, You all be blessed. Happy Father's Day again to the fathers. Love and light. Treat yourself and other people right. Talk to you soon. Bye.